Welcome to the last video of the top 10 mistake series. In this video we will talk about traffic lights. And yes, that seems quite easy, but depending in which moments you have to face a traffic light in exam, it might be extremely difficult. So that's why we start with that topic quickly mental. Right now our traffic light is green and obviously with a green traffic light we can go straight ahead. But what happens if someone is crossing from the left or from the right? In Germany you can trust. You don't have to worry. Germans will stop if there is a red traffic light. So go on. Go on always? There are two exceptions. First, there might be a policeman in front of the crossing and in that case he might tell you no, please wait even if you have a green traffic light. That example is not that common. Much more common is that you have a lot of traffic, maybe a traffic jam and you might not pass the whole crossing. In that case it is better you stop in front of a green traffic light and you wait until you're sure that you can pass the whole crossing even if it's green. But a part of this, please go straight ahead. Go straight ahead? But what is if there is a stop sign? Remember, traffic lights have a higher priority than all signs. That means even if there is a stop sign, if it's a green traffic light, you should go straight ahead. But why is there then a stop sign? In case the traffic light is out of order or if the traffic light is blinking yellow like this, then you have to stop in that particular case. Just because there's a stop sign, there might be another sign. So in this case, you should stop. So let's go on what to do with a yellow traffic light. This is your time slot where you have to decide to stop or to cross. Meanwhile, the most experienced driver in Germany asks their self, can I pass the traffic light? Your question should be, is it possible to stop? If your answer is yes, then please stop in front of the traffic light. But in case that you won't stop in front of the stop line and you might stay in the middle of the crossing or in case you have to break that hard that you risk a potential accident of the following traffic just to stop in front of the stopping line in these two cases it's allowed to pass on even if it's yellow so finally let's proceed to red red means you have to stop. Are there some excuses or special cases? Yes, there are. As before, it's the policeman. If the policeman says, hey, come on, please pass, and he's regulating the crossing, then you're allowed to overpass a red traffic light. It's not a very common case. A more common case is if an ambulance or police or fire workers is coming from behind, and in that particular case, if you have a lot of care checking everywhere that the crossing is free, you're allowed to overcross a red traffic light that um, emergency car might pass and you make them space. So are all traffic lights the same? No, you have different types. Let's look here. Before we had type 1. And it's green but it can be as well type 2 and you see the difference is there is a green arrow inside of it do you know what it means meanwhile with a green traffic light you can turn straight ahead left or right in the second case with an arrow you're just allowed to turn in that direction the arrow is pointing but there is another thing you might consider in that case, you have to take care of coming traffic if you turn right or left. Meanwhile, if you have a green arrow inside your traffic light and you want to change your direction, 
everyone else has red. So you don't have to take care for pedestrians or coming traffic. You can just follow in the direction of the arrow. Talking about traffic lights with arrows, there are some particular cases. In case one, this traffic light allows you to drive immediately to turn left. In this case it's a traffic light and next to it is a metal shield. On this metal shield you have a permanent green arrow. That means that you are allowed to turn right even if the traffic light is red. But be careful. If you have this metal shield it's like a stop sign. You have to drive to the stop line, stop there and then check left, right, left if it's free in case you can't see nothing at your position after you stop you can proceed a little bit into the crossing and then check and if everything is free you're allowed to cross even if it's red and last but not least we have this traffic signs this traffic signs do just have two colors normally they're out of function but sometimes they turn yellow and then red. If you wait for green, you can wait long. Because this traffic light never turns green, it just turns totally out again. So please be aware, check and if it's out of order, you can go straight ahead again. Now we come to the second chapter of this video. How to predict when a traffic light turns from green to yellow and then to red. The easiest way how to predict this is if you have a long road and you're driving a long time towards a green traffic light, there might be a high probability that until you reach the traffic light, it might change to yellow. So pay attention. Paying attention doesn't mean to get slower. It's green. You should go on. Just be very careful that it might change. Another trick could be following. If you can see in front of the crossing we have the traffic lights for the pedestrians and if the pedestrian traffic light is green you know that your traffic light won't change to yellow and you can go on with confidence. Meanwhile if the pedestrian traffic light is already red you know that your traffic light is turning yellow soon because pedestrian lights always turn a little bit earlier red because pedestrians don't cross a crossing that fast than a car and that's why they always get red earlier than the drivers. And the last trick how to predict that the traffic light turns from green to yellow is following situation. If you focus on this traffic light you see that's a pedestrian traffic light and you see it there is a yellow button and probably you know it if you push it it turns quite fast green for the pedestrians and red for the drivers that means that if you're driving towards such a traffic light and you're seeing already a pedestrian waiting next to it like in this case then there is a high probability that your traffic light will switch nearly immediately to yellow and you have to pay a lot attention to it, that you don't miss it. And this leads us to the last point of this video. How to handle a situation when you might feel that the green traffic light turns into yellow and how to decide whether to stop or better to go on. Coming back to our example, we have a green traffic light, the pedestrian light is already red, so we can suggest that it might turn quite early yellow. So what can we do in that case? What I'm recommending my students is to think of an imaginary line. Set up a line in your mind and if you're in front of your imaginary line and the traffic light suddenly turns now yellow you know that you have enough space to break because you're still in front of your imaginary line. Meanwhile if you have 
past already your imaginary line. Like in that case, and now the traffic light turns yellow, it is clear that you won't make it until the stop line and it's better to proceed and cross the yellow traffic light. And at which distance should I put my imaginary line now? That depends on your speed. If you're really fast, your braking distance is definitely longer and that's why your imaginary line should be quite far away from the traffic light. However, if you drive quite slow, you are still able to stop and that's why your imaginary line should be closer to the traffic light. That means that the imaginary lies always depends on your speed. I hope that I could answer a lot of questions in this video regarding traffic lights. And finally, we finish the top 10 series. Just let me tell you my last words. I'm really, really, really surprised and happy about all your feedback your comments in the YouTube videos or personal messages on my email account. It was incredible and I just wanted to say thank you. Let's see how we will go on. Um, give me some time but be aware there will come more videos soon. Goodbye!